Hello everyone, it's so good to see you. My name is Julie Harrison, and I have the honor to be their drama teacher this year. They are so excited to have a real live audience. <laughs> yeah, what has it been, two years? I can, you can probably hear them laughing in their excitement. They're super excited. Okay, so I hope you just sit back and enjoy the show this evening. I think it will be cool. I'll see you after the show. The elevator cast. One male teenager, four female teenagers, one adult female. Claire Bailey, straight A student. Can you hear me? Claire Bailey, straight-A student, SBG president, played by Grace. Melanie Hernandez, down-to-earth student, family is from Mexico, played by Mariah. Sam Young, a shy student that nobody knows much about, played by Andre. Rebecca Harris, a popular student, a bit of a troublemaker, parents are divorced, played by Rosa. Lindsay Harris, computer gamer, parents are divorced, Rebecca is her sister, but they are estranged, played by Kaylee. Claire's mom played by Miss Sabre Taylor, Gottlieb teacher. Students will line up on the stage. Each will come to the center of the stage to speak and then move to the side of the stage. Claire. Hello, everyone. Here we are, all different people merging at this same point for reasons unknown. I'm Claire Sutton, I'm the SBG president, and who knows, future valedictorian, maybe even the first deaf president of the United States. Rebecca. Do things happen for a reason or by chance? Well, my name is Rebecca. Rebecca Harris. I'm, okay. I'm the homecoming queen and also the first future Deaf Miss America. Waves like royalty. Science tells us that the universe is deterministic. The only reason for things happening is because the law of physics dictate that they must happen. And history tells us that, sorry, Rebecca, there has already been a death in this America. Lindsay is speaking. I'm Lindsay Harris. And I'd rather be on my computer right now than standing in front of you. Melanie. Maybe the world is more interconnected than we think. The butterfly effect. Everything relates to everything. Hello, my name is Melanie Hernandez. I love to paint murals, like my famous artist from the beloved Mexico. I'm Sam. Just Sam, nothing to see here. Sam, you forgot your quote about life. No, there's really nothing to say. Soup, life is like soup, and I'm a fork. Shrugs. <laughs> stage darkens as students exit the stage. An electronic sign on the stage says, Melanie, Rebecca, Lindsay, Claire, to the office. The scene takes place in the school elevator. Four students are called to the office. The screen has a banner that appears. The five students file into the elevator space on stage.
Sam is sitting on the floor of the elevator, looking at his phone. Sam gets up as he greets Claire. I'll take the stairs. There's Melanie. plenty of room. Melanie sees the elevator is full and walks in. Can someone please press the first floor for me? Where do you think we're all going? We all got called to the principal's office. Well, I'm assuming. Yeah, I was called for a different reason. Uh, I'm SVG president, top of my class. Yeah, I'm not going to the office for the same reasons you're going. Did you just hit all the bu buttons? Yeah. Why'd you do that? Why are we in a hurry to go to the principal's office? Well, some of us, you don't need to go back to our core classes. Sam, what are you doing here? I mean, you could have possibly done to see the principal. Sam, what about me? Sam shrugs. Whoa. Did you feel something strange? <laughs> Suddenly the elevator gives a big jump. What was that? On and off. Uh, I feel sick. Please don't tell me that we're stuck. The students frantically press buttons, none of which do anything. One student holds up an emergency phone and looks at all the deaf students. Like, what are we supposed to do with this? I'm gonna take a nap. Rebecca starts to laugh and sits down on the floor. Does anyone have their phone so we can text someone? Our new cell phone policy is that we have to turn in our phones at the start of class. We don't have our class. We don't have our phones. We left them in class. Claire looks down and sees Rebecca scrolling through her phone. Wait, Rebecca, you have your phone. Text for help. I'm not texting anyone until 3:30. But that's not funny. Please let someone know we're stuck. Hmm. For Rebecca. Let me think about it. That's a definitive no. Melanie. The staff will figure it out. Our names are on the banner. Just calm down, everyone. Claire. Oh, no. I think I'm going to faint. It's so hot. Claire walks back oh. and forth. Take slow breaths. They'll help. Lindsay. Someone will come soon. Oh, come on. Claire's banging on the door. Claire, they're not going to help. That's not going to help. Please call someone for help. Rebecca. She's just being dramatic. She's fine. Oh, great. The battery's dead. Don't you ever take my personal things again. Lindsay took Rebecca's phone. Calm down. Stay out of this. Sorry, I just wanted to help Claire. You're always sorry. Lights out, flashback three months earlier. Rebecca passes Lindsay in the hallway. Congratulations for what? I just heard that my Rebecca. dad married your mom. I heard it was a big wedding. Lindsay. Yeah, strange. And I guess that kind of makes us sisters, right? That makes us nothing. Since my parents divorced, I never see my dad. And now, I guess he has a new family, a new daughter. Enjoy him. I'm so... Uh, Rebecca That's leaves not my sense. fault. Stage darkens. Back in the elevator. Hey guys, you shouldn't spend the rest of this time here with this negative energy. Looks at Rebecca. Melanie goes and sits near Sam. Rebecca is on her phone. Lindsay and Claire sit next to each other. You have your computer. Yeah, but no internet. 
So, do you think we're here for what we did last week? Lindsay. No one knows about that. I doubt it. Claire. I'm not so sure. Rebecca looks up from her phone. Uh, yeah, but rumor has it that you hacked the physics teacher's computer and stole the final exam. <laughs> oh, our father is so excited to hear about your computer skills, Lindsay. Claire. You shouldn't pay attention to rumors. Focus moves to Sam and Melanie. Melanie. Do you know what I worry about every time they call me to the office? What? I feel like you would get it. I'm thinking they're going to come to destroy my family. That's not Sam. it. They want to come to school. You don't know that. Claire stands up. I have the best idea. I see that the roof has a door right above us. What if someone goes up to take a look? Lindsay. That's dangerous. What if it works again? Then the person would be squished. Claire. What if we just take a quick peek and see what's up there? Pyramid time? Claire gets on the floor. So you be on start. the top. Let's make a pyramid. Lindsay tries to climb on top of them. So does Melanie. Sam looks at them and shakes his head. They begin to collapse and all start to laugh. Okay. Hmm. All the students sit around looking bored. Claire. Claire stands up. Okay, I have an even better idea. How about we all share their best and worst moments from high school? I'll start. Being the SPG president, of course, is my best. And then also, I won because I was getting us off campus for lunch. Melanie. Yeah, thanks to you, I get to go to Starbucks almost every day. Yeah, thanks to Rebecca. you, I'll give my, my ability to skip classes increased drastically. Hmm. Claire. Okay, now my worst moment. Mm. Flashback lights out in the elevator. Two months earlier. up to clear in her bedroom. Her mom is doing her hair and they're both looking into a mirror. Mom. You look perfect. Except for that blemish right there. Are you doing the cleaning routine like I taught you? Clear. Yes, Mom. Mom. Let's put on some makeup right there. Mom puts makeup on Claire's blemish. Perfect. Claire. So how is physics class going? Mom, I'm really struggling. Are you working? Yes, of course. I'm doing my best. I'm going to the teacher. I'm studying constantly. It's just not a good fit for me. It sounds like you're giving up. You are not. Not in our family. We are not losers. You gave up on dad? Ow! Mom pulls her hair. Oh. oh. Listen here. Your grades are important. To get into Harvard, you need a 4.0 grade GPA. Let me know if you're struggling. I'll get you a tutor. I can do that. Look at me. My past choices doesn't matter. You have the world in front of you. Don't forget that I have given you everything just for you. You do your best. Mom walks off stage. Claire looks sad.
back in the elevator. The students are all sitting on the floor. Claire is standing. Claire. My worst moment is my whole semester of AP Physics. Our teacher is so boring. And if I hear one more time about calculating the rate of velocity, I will pull my hair out. I hate the way he just stands like this after we don't do well on a test. I don't like it. Claire stands angrily over yeah. a student like a and monster. and I remember that teacher always does this. There you Melanie. go, right. Ugh. Karen and Melanie, I'm gonna take him together. I'm putting you on the spot, Sam. It's your turn. Ugh, come on, no. Sam, come on. Okay, okay. Sam My best up. moment hmm, was Halloween. <laughs> Nine months earlier. Sam is walking in the hallway in a Robin shirt from Batman and Robin. Sam. Hi, Melanie. Whoa, look at you. I'm Wonder Woman and, and you're Batman. We can save the world. Want to take a selfie? No, again. <laughs> Perfect. Perfect. Send me a picture, okay? Yep. Oh, wait. Are you going to class? Yeah, class starts now. Why would I ask her if she's Sam. going to class? What a stupid question. Sophie is on the screen. <laughs> Sam hit himself in the head. Back in the elevator. standing, the rest of the students are sitting. My best moment was Halloween. Why? Uh, I'm not sure. Oh, well, that's really interesting. Okay, tell us your worst. No, but I have a secret. What is it? I wasn't in the elevator because I was called to the office like all of you. That's right. It didn't say your name on the banner. Sam. Sometimes I just hide in here. I just go into the elevator where no one can see me and hide in here. Lindsay. So you're saying you just stay here for your whole class on the elevator? Yep. Okay. Rebecca. I'm not saying it to be me. But I do kind of think it's funny. Melanie. It's not funny. They all start laughing, including Sam. Sam, Melanie. I think we know how you feel. I want to hide too, especially today. Claire. Hi, what's wrong? Okay, have a seat, everyone. Everyone except Melanie sits on the floor. Melanie. Okay. I've done everything in my power to be the best student I can. I study every night. I volunteer every weekend. I even joined a stupid club through my college application. Last week, I went into the guidance counselor, and he looked at me, and he said, 
I'm sorry, but there's nothing I can do for you. You're here illegally. Of course he's wrong. Oh, but don't you have family support? Melanie. Yes, but the worst part is my family could be taken to a detention center and away from me and my little brother. My dad is the hardest worker I know. My mom is, my mom is just so strong. They just, they own my heart. This morning might be the last day that I actually hugged them. Claire stands up. Oh, Melanie, I'm so sorry. I had no idea what you're going through. Claire hugs Melanie. I just can't Lindsay. imagine what you're going through. I can't. So what can we do? Rebecca, Melanie. You can do a lot of things, but first we need to get off this stupid elevator. Yeah. Okay, let's change this second. Sam. Whoa, do you feel that? I think they're working on it. No, I want to change the subject. Lindsay. Yeah, nice way to change the subject. How about, anybody want some candy? Everyone sits down. Lindsay passes out candy to everyone from her purse. Thank you. Claire stands up. I want to tell you something. It seems like everybody's being so open and honest. I want to confess something. I think I know why I was called to the office. It isn't because I was being rewarded. I cheated on the test. What? Lindsay. What? No, you don't have to. No, Claire. Lindsay. You don't have to take the fall for me. I can't believe I asked you to do that. I'm all up tired about being the first deaf president. There's so much pressure. I just want to be me. I just want to be Claire Sutton. And I'm not, I'm not perfect. Far from it. Rebecca stands. Um, no offense, but I don't think you'll be able to convince them that you hacked the computer. Lindsay stands. Okay. okay. I did it. It's my turn. My best moment of the year was that I hacked in to Claire. the physics teacher's computer. Every day, all the adults are always making Lindsay. choices for me, where I live, who moves in with us, what my last name is. But hacking that computer, that was my choice. I got the chance to say, don't underestimate me and my choices. The control is mine. My worst moment was Rebecca. being stuck in the elevator with you. God, can you just be nice for once, please? No. Listen. Rebecca. Claire sits down. I so want to hate you. I want to blame you for stealing my family. But it's too hard to hate you. Even when I'm stuck in the elevator with you. Lindsay. I really wish I could change everything. Our dad is really missing out. What do you mean? Well, I just don't get adults and their hangups with each other. Why does your mom hate our dad and vice versa when they were once so much in love? I don't know what happened or why it happened and who's to blame, but not having you in his life is his loss. Rebecca. I'm just tired. I'm just tired of being angry. Lindsay. I know. Lindsay and Rebecca hug. Claire joins them. Oh, sorry, Claire. I know I'm kind of invading a very private moment. <laughs> oh, hold on, do you mind taking a picture Rebecca. of us? Melanie gets the phone. Your phone isn't dead. It's working. Your mom has left you a message. Rebecca takes the phone back. Okay, are we ready to get out of here? Yes, Claire. I am ready. Melanie. Once we're out of the elevator, you don't need to hide. We can always hang out. Okay. 
First, come here. Rebecca. When we go to the principal's office, first we want to make sure that Melanie's family's okay. We got your back, Melanie. Claire. Thank you. Elevator doors open. Students put on their backpacks. Students all hold hands in line at the front of the stage. All five jump down into the crowd and exit out the back doors. Moving the elevator away. Three weeks later. lights up. Claire walks to the front of the stage. I confess what I did to the principal. My grade was docked and means I didn't get valedictorian. I'm gonna just go to a state school on a scholarship, not going to Harvard. What's important is just to know that I'm not perfect, but I'm happy. Claire moves to the side of the stage. Rebecca and Lindsay come out together. Rebecca Lindsay. and I have come so close, Rebecca. like sisters. Tell them about our father. My father and I are meeting next week for dinner. I don't know if it'll fix everything, but now I'm open to trying. Next year, I'm gonna go to college with cyber security. Rebecca and Lindsay join Claire on the side of the stage. Sam and Melanie come out holding hands. Melanie. I got a scholarship to an arts program in the fall. And Sam can't come with me. I'm going to miss him next year. Maybe he'll just hang out. You know, the elevator really taught us change, changes things for us. It presses buttons in our lives and encourages us to share our stories Sam. with each other for the first time. I finally, finally have something profound to say about life. Life is like an elevator. <laughs> Melanie. It will move up and down. Lindsay. You might get stuck. Rebecca. And you don't know who you'll be stuck with. Claire. But you might become better with that experience. Banner system calls all of the students back to the office. Oh, here we go again. Let's take the stairs. Everyone exits the stage. Lights out. Stage lights. Claire comes on stage. Grace played by Claire, Claire, or Claire played by Grace. <laughs> Rebecca played by Rosa. Lindsay played by Kaylee. Melanie played by Mariah. Sam, played by Andre. Andre looks for Sabra. Sabra. Sabra, come. Students are taking a bow. Sabra comes to the side of the stage. Mm -hmm. Julie Harrison climbs on the stage. One more time, please give her a round of applause. Great job, you guys. So thank proud you. of all of you and the work that you've done. I just have a few quick thank yous. I want to thank you to Kristen, 
Tara Wilkins, uh, Jennifer Wright for supporting this program. Thank you to Amanda Padilla for doing the audio description for the program. Thank you also to our video team over here in the corner. Uh, so we, we videoed the performance. Thank you so much to our interpreters. Thank you for that. And I also would like to thank Allie Unker and Annabelle Unker. Thank you so much for coming to support this. Allie is our new art teacher this year, and she has some beautiful artwork out in the lobby area that you can go and see when, when we're done here. Um, let me see. Okay, I think I'm good. I just also a special thank you to the my favorite people in the school to make this class possible. Thank you so much to Sabra Taylor. Sabra. Julie Harrison has flowers for Sabra. Oh, she didn't say anything about doing this. Thank you so much, Julie. Thank you so much. And thank you for coming. It was so nice to see a full audience here this evening. Everyone claps. And if the cast can please stay for a quick picture. Can you turn the lights on? You can. Oh, you can turn the lights on. Thanks so much.